Howdy gang. Today we are tying uh, what we like to call a purple betis. Uh, great all-around betis pattern on Madison River year-round. And uh, we're going to start with uh, a Diariki 125 size 16 hook. Uh, a purple glass bead to fit that hook. Uh, for our thread we got black UTC uh, 140 denier uh, thread and a hairline ice dub uh, UV purple for our dubbing. I've already threaded on my bead to the hook so I'm going to put the hook in the vise here. First thing we're going to do, start our thread. Get yourself about nine or ten wraps on there. And immediately take that thing all the way to the back of the hook where the, where the hook bends. And just uh, let that rest right there. Now you get your mallard flank probably 20-25 fibers of mallard flank. And we're going to secure this right to the back of the hook so that the fibers extend about a third of the uh, length of the uh, shank of the hook out from the body. It can be longer if, if, uh, if you have to, that's okay. And uh, wrap that thing all the way to the front, making sure to cover up as much of that mallard flank as you can so that the body's uh, completely black. Immediately wrap that thing backwards and then thread wrap about halfway down the shank. Leave that there for a second while you grab just a pinch of uh, your purple UV ice dub. Now you're going to thread that on there. Secure your thread right behind the glass bead and then pull your mallard flank over the top of that ice dub. Secure it in place with a couple wraps and then pull back the mallard flank and then re-secure that black thread right behind the glass bead and that just uh, allows you to cut this mallard flank without your thread popping off. Last thing you're going to do is a whip finish. Get yourself four or five wraps on the whip finish there. Pull it tight. Chop it off. There you got your psycho betas.